Welcome to Y Lecture Online. Now we're trying to find the equation of a plane that is parallel to the given, to the given line. And of course, remember that the equation is the one that we found for the line in the previous video, and that also passes through these two points right there. So, how are we going to do that? Well, remember that we can get the equation of a plane if we find the perpendicular vector. So, if the line is parallel to the plane, and we're given two points on the plane, we can create a second vector, which is also parallel to the plane. And then we, when we take the cross product between the vector we can get from this line and the vector we can get from these two points on the plane, then we get a vector that's perpendicular to the plane. And I think I know where we're going with this. So first, we need the vector that's parallel to the line. So we'll call that vector one. Vector one, and that's gonna be equal to one in the i direction, plus 5 in the j direction, minus 6 in the k direction. So that's a vector that's parallel to the line, and we know that that line is parallel to the plane. Now we need a vector that connects these two right here. So let's call that vector 2. So vector 2 is equal to the vector from point 1 to point 2, which could be found by taking negative 1, minus 1 in the i direction, plus 2, minus 2 in the j direction, and plus negative 3, minus 3 in the k direction. And it looks like the middle term drops out. Let's see, 2 minus 2. It certainly does. So vector 2 is going to be equal to negative 2 in the i direction, plus 0 in the j direction, and minus 6 in the k direction. So since we're going to take the cross product, we like zeros because that makes the cross product a little bit easier. So now we need to find the perpendicular vector to the plane. And the perpendicular vector to the plane is going to be equal to the cross product of vector 1 and vector 2. So let's go ahead and take that cross product. So this is equal to i, j, and k, the coefficients of the first vector, which is 1, 5, and negative 6. The coefficients of the second vector is negative 2, 0, and negative 6. All right, let's go ahead and see what the cross product is. So this is equal to i times 5 times negative 6, which is minus 30, and that the other term is 0. So minus j times 1 times negative 6, and minus 2, negative 2 times negative 6, so minus 12 and then plus k times 1 times 0 minus 2 times a negative 2 times 5, which is a positive 2. All right, so this gives us the perpendicular vector to the plane is going to be minus 30 in the i direction, plus 18 in the j direction, and plus 10 in the k direction. So now we have the perpendicular vector. Okay. How do we find the equation of a, um, of a plane? Well, one of the equations, the, the point, what we call the point normal form of the equation, we need the normal vector and one point on the line. So let's take this point on the line. And then the equation for a plane will look as follows. It'll be xA times x minus x sub naught plus b times y minus y sub naught plus c times z minus z sub naught is equal to zero. Plug it in the values, we get minus 30 times x minus x sub naught, so minus one, plus b, which is 18, times y minus two, and then plus 10 times z minus three, is equal to zero. Okay, so now we need to put it into a better form, the general form, that would be minus 30x plus 18y, plus 10z. This times this, that gives us plus 30. This times this, that gives me minus 36. And this times this gives me minus 30. And that equals zero. The plus and minus 30 cancel out. And so I end up with minus 30x plus 18y plus 10z minus 36 is equal to zero. And there's the equation of the line we were looking for. The equation of, uh, not the line, the plane that we're looking for. The plane that we're looking for was going to be parallel to the given line 
and passing through these two points. And that is how it's done.